YouTube, DJ here and Johnny back at you. We just survived like an hour trip back from Gettysburg where we met with Paul from PA Brew News. PA Brew News, yes. And we had like a little hiatus up to Appalachian Brewing Company. Now we're going to fly. <laughs> oh, we had one. 666. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. And, this, and then the uh, Jolly Scott. Yeah, the Jolly Scott, yeah. And I may have given the Susquehanna Stout, you know, a better grade than everybody else. But if you're a starter on Stout, that's fine. But we're flying to Tampa, and this is one of the ones I brought back from Tampa Cigar City. It is Improv. It is their Oatmeal Rye India Style <sighs> Brown Ale. Say that so, ten times fast. Exactly. <laughs> We've got, I think, what, 9% uh, ABV, ABV, and what was the IBUs there, DJ? 60, say the beer geek. 60, say the beer geek. So, um, we're going to give this a shot and see what it tastes like. So, uh, we poured it already. And Here's a label for you guys to see. There is a date on it. Now, it does, we probably think it's a date of production. So, which would be September 2011. So, we've got well over a year and a half on this. Man, that smells nice. Yeah, well, wow. up in Pennsylvania, it really didn't smell much, and I'm still not. Man, this is this is like bourbon-y almost, and the rye is really spicy on this. I smell spiciness. <sighs> Sweet malts. Some dark fruits, but it's really, it's really barrel-like in the, in the smell. It's got some decent glass lacing, wow. um, you know, what you get from the grains and all that. Real sticky. When we poured this, there wasn't any head to speak of. It's a 9 percenter, so sometimes that doesn't happen. But it has really good alcohol legs on it. And the head settled down to sort of like a, just like a thin ring of bubbles around the outside yeah. of the glass. And we've had, we've done at least two uh, cigar cities. We did High Lie and Maduro Brown. And we did the bolita. Oh yeah, the bolita. And mm -hmm. so we, we, you know, we, I think we've given them all high grade. So hopefully this one will keep with this. Now the other thing is we we do have another uh, cigar. <laughs> got a whole bunch of other cigar cities. We, we've got but another we've one. But we've got an improvis improvisation. So it's another oatmeal rye India style pale, brown ale. So um, that will be something we'll do later, not tonight, but it'll be interesting to see what. The different tastes are. It's a really big smelling beer, like a, like the biggest brown you can think of. Like, it's got the sweetness and the rye in there, and it's got this bourbon barrel sort of smell to it that I didn't expect. I'm I'm gonna feel the taste on this bad boy. Now, you know, I, I looked and went to Cigar City's website. They're mm. talking it's like a piney upfront taste. Maybe it's been sitting a while, and I'm not really hitting that. Um, it, it's it's kind of neutral to me, um, and, and that may be because it's sitting. It's been sitting. Well, it's been kept cold since July, August. So, refrigerator cellar. When I taste this, I taste the rye spiciness. I do taste a bit of the pine. Yeah. It's not like black IPA ish no. pine or anything like that, but it's a bit spicy. It's got a nice medium, medium like. Whole, full on medium mouth feel. John's had a full on medium uh, bag of chips. Show him that bag of chips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Paul. This is from our buddy Paul. Yeah. This is from the, what is it? Uh, the Wecklander. Yeah, there you go. These are freaking awesome barbecue chips, by the way. Yep. Um, really good mouth feel. The carbonation spot on. It's not like bubbly, it's not belch inducing. No. And the flavor is big in this beer. It's Big rye flavor when I drink this. You know, it's neutral, but yeah, I'm tasting that rye-ness mm. in the beer. Wow. I'm not getting that pine a little bit, but not like what they're describing on their website. Um, but we got some age on it. Got some age on it, yeah, definitely. Um, I like it. it. It's not boozy. You're not getting that alcohol no. upfront carbonation. Um, definitely not. There's no alcohol taste at all in it. Mm -hmm. It's quite easy to drink. It's actually mm -hmm. dangerously mm -hmm. easy to drink. I mean, <laughs> we're both pounding this beer. We're sitting here. We had pretty full glasses when we started here. We still got some more. 
it's a, I mean, it's a really tasty beer, and and I don't think I really miss the hoppiness they're talking about. I mean, the rye character. Now, I got to give you a little bit of caveat. I'm a sucker for rye. I really like that rye oh, spicy what flavor. The, what was the rye? The the, the, the Firestone Walker uh, Wooly Jack. Wookie Jack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, that thing was so rye heavy. I mean, it was great. I loved it. Uh, had it on tap. This is definitely. I mean, it's a brown ale. Oatmeal, rye, um, but you know, for the oatmeal, I'm not getting that. It, it's a medium feel to the mouth. You know, oatmeal tends to give you that. What I've had, you know, a little bit more of that mouth feel, but um, to me, it's a medium mouth feel. That said, it it goes it's to. Medium. It's not. It's not maybe as silky as some of the other mm-hmm. beers we had. Like when we had the um, coffee bender from Surly, man, that was like freaking silk going down your neck when you would drink that, man, it, I mean, it would just, thinner. yeah, a little, I mean, this is, this is a little more, a little more watery, but it's not a bad thing, like, but the, the rye flavor in this is really rich rye flavor, yeah. almost to the point that it's like a, a rye whiskey almost, in some ways, and now, not that Johnny and I would ever drink rye whiskey, never, no, <laughs> but, I think it's a really damn tasty beer. And yeah. obviously Johnny thinks so because he's about chugged the <laughs> entire I, I, glass. I mean, it, it's... Yeah. It, it's a 9 percenter. It's a session beer. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's good. I, you know, with the chips, you know, watching the game, something like that. I, I think this is definitely a winner for me. This could be a one-and-done beer for your night. Hmm. You know, you, well... For, people beside us but uh, not not drunk ass motherfuckers but (laughs) anyway it could be a one and done for some people Um, if you drink the whole freaking bottle uh, by yourself yeah well I would never do that would you what did I have what did I say I had oh I had Bigfoot barrel aged Bigfoot I know dude by myself what the hell he drank a whole barrel-aged Bigfoot by himself. That was great. <laughs> I'll bet you it was. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Thank you, Sierra Nevada. <laughs> real, really solid beer. Um, Cigar City's you know, doing an awesome job. I haven't had a bad beer from Cigar City. Have you? No. I, I highlight it. It's my favorite. Follow it up. I mean, I've had Tobacco Road Red. Mm-hmm. Or, um, it's in North Carolina. Um, uh, Maduro Brown. The Baltic Porter. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm, and we still got a whole bunch more to try. <laughs> so I brought back a boatload of that stuff. So let's see. I, I, I'm gonna give it. I, I'm gonna give it a B plus for me. Beer Advocate also gives it a B plus. Yes. And Rate Beer gives it a 97. Seven. 97 is way too high because 97, if you go by numbers, since I'm DJ and not yep. Johnny, that would be almost an A plus on my scale. It's not Paul that. would have given it probably what a nine out of ten, eight out of ten. Maybe. We're just we're just still geeking after you know doing a beer share. That's right. With with Paul today. But um, I think this is probably it's an I think it's a A minus beer. I'm gonna give it like a 90, 92. It's really good. Maybe it was more hoppy or whatever, but I don't know if I would necessarily like this more hoppy than it is right now that I'm drinking it. It's a, I'm really liking this rye flavor. To me, it's a real good session beer. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I, I mean, it's... It's high Obviously, I, 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 I hit it pretty good, and I'm I'm still looking at the bottle and seeing you know, how much he's going to finish before I pour the next round. And uh, I, I like this. I would seek this out again. Like I said, B+. Plus, mm-hmm. um to me, not a different type of beer, but, you know, I like the Firestone Walker, Wooly Jack, and all that. Um, I really like this. Nothing seriously wrong with Cigar City. I just, for some reason, I just can't give it an A-. minus. Uh, B it's, plus is great. It's still good beer. Great beer. I haven't had a beer yet from Cigar City that hasn't been really high quality, and yep. every beer consistently that we taste from this brewery, you can tell they put care, yep. time, and quality ingredients. I mean, you know, I mean, we're not big time home brewers, but we jack around with it. Not yet. We're trying. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're aspiring to be big time home brewers, maybe, but 
when you do that, you get more of an appreciation of what it takes to make this beer. Yep. And you can tell when you taste this that they didn't mess around. They didn't cut any corners. Appalachian and they made company. <laughs> Man, those... <laughs> Dude, you're going to give me flashbacks. Except 666. Was yes, that, that was good. Yes. The scotch. But this beer is high quality. It was done with care and quality ingredients. That's why I'm going with the AMIs. Plus, there was a date on the bottle. Yeah, he loves dates. Yeah, I like dates. I've eaten dates, too. They're yeah. Good. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, remember what we always say. Drink locally and think globally. No, other way around, dude. Yeah, whatever. Think globally. <laughs> drink locally. See, that's so eloquent. Support the craft beer movement. Because when you're at your home doing homebrew, that's the craft beer movement. Or when you're in Florida on a uh, softball tournament, go buy some beer. Yes, and, City. and we neglect our children when we go to the liquor store and said, that's important, the craft beer movement. I don't know. I think I brought my child to the Did you take her with her? My, ch- my daughter and my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family affair. It doesn't get better than that. Peace so, out, J.O. Granville. <laughs> that's right. So... Thanks a million for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you had this one, let you let us know. I haven't seen anybody review this one yet. If you have a Cigar City brew that we have in the refrigerator that you want us to try, cucumber saison, what else? What I don't else? Know. Yeah, Another we improvisation. Yeah, you know, we got a couple others. Uh, we got a collaboration and all that sitting out there in the fridge. So let us know any other beers, whatever yeah. you want us to try. We'll try to get it to us. If not, send it to us for free. And we'll be more than happy to try it. That's right. We will drink it. We, we are beer drinkers. And until that time, what's that? What do we got to give them? Uh, a big piece. Ow. Ow.